Hi folks, um, I'm just uh, looking at the sprue of uh, medieval cavalry I got the other day. I thought I'll just get one, uh, just to try it out. Uh, it's a good deal on eBay. Um, it's four horses and uh, the rider sprue. Uh, now I plan to get, um, this is the uh, Paris Agincourt uh, mounted figures um, later in the year, probably Christmas time. They'll probably be prezzies. What I'm looking at is the amount of gear you get. Um, I know it's 12 cavalry, but it, it's not 12 cavalry, is it? Um, if we look, this is uh, one of the sprues from the box set. Now, apparently there are three of these sprues. Uh, you will only get the 12 horses. That's, that's a fact. But uh, on the sprue, we have, what do we have? We have 12 torso tops. That's waist and heads all, uh, all molded in, no separate heads on these. But 12 um, on the sprue. Three sprues gives us 36 torso tops. We also have six sets of legs, uh, various legs which again, three sprues, gives us 18 legs. Now I make it, there are basically uh, 22, 23 possibly, 23, 22 or 23 arms. I haven't checked for the left and right arms, but there'll be a proportion. There's probably 10 sets of arms. Um, so that's for 10 figures. Um, so what I'm looking at there, this is going to give me up to 36 riders. Obviously I shall need some legs, but legs are easy to come by. You can soon make some legs. It's not a difficult thing. Um, horses. I've got horses. I've always got lots of horses and they're always about. You can pick them up. Um, even if you don't make your own horses, but you can always get them. Um, um, arms, left and right arms, there are spare arms on the infantry sets, which will fit. Um, yeah, what have we got down here? I think on uh, a couple of the, uh, the knight sets, I've already got some spare arms on the French knight set and some spare arms on the um, British, British, English, British, that's a good one, English knight set uh, or English men at arms, there's some spare arms. Plus, I, um, I tend to keep all of my spare arms from the Wars of the Roses or uh, Dark Ages sets. I suppose a lot of us do. But uh, So what I'm getting at is from this set, I think there's 36 riders. Yes, I'll need to make some legs. That's not difficult or require some legs. Um, but with the body tops, the 12-man set is actually a 36-man set. Um, arms as I say will give us basically th uh, there's 10 10 sets of arms on each sprue so that gives us 30 so we've got 36 torso tops uh, 30 arm sets and 18 legs so you will need another 18 sets of legs and a few extra arms uh, but again if you keep your metal arms uh, sorry your plastic arms um, you'll be able to keep yourself sorted out with figures. We've also got some spare heads up all the horses, a couple of spare heads and um, we've got some chain mail have we? Oh yes some chain mail so we'll have three bits of chain mail for the horses. Um, lots of heads for horses. I seem to have six lots of heads um, but yeah there we go. Just fascinated by the amount of body parts for these um, medieval um, riders so um, I'm maybe not needing to uh, or maybe not needing to buy as many uh, box sets as I thought I was going to get sort of two or three boxes at Christmas time to give me sort of 36 but if I'm getting 36 in a box I'm only going to probably need one box I'm thinking that will probably be enough 36 riders because obviously we're looking at mainly foot figures aren't we um, not too many riders um, perhaps I don't know 12 
18 mounted knights and possibly 12, 24 uh, mounted hobble R types or men at arms or uh, uh, sergeants, uh, maybe 12 bowmen. So a one box, uh, possibly two boxes, but I think that's going to be a push as it is. Anyway, that's my uh, my mutterings on this uh, on this set. I'm going to set to and uh, get it made up, and then uh, I'll uh, I'll come back to you uh, when I've got something uh, something that looks like mounted figures. But anyway, okay, right. So what I've done is I've made these up as a command group which is uh, obviously what I need. Uh, I'm not too worried about uh, mounted. So I've got this as a, a mounted unit. This is the command figure. I'll give me one of the uh, halo things, whatever they call it, I forget now. Uh, the Oriole and that sort of thing. Uh, we've got this guy, I'll put his lance up right so he can be a standard bearer. And then we've got a second flamboyant looking uh, the type so that's what my plan is just uh, get back where so we can have it there this is the size of base they'll go on we'll have the standard bearer there and the main commander figure just there <coughs> excuse me so yep that's what we're gonna I'm going for <coughs> so I'm gonna get those sorted and painted hoop um, yeah, and that's, this will be my first uh, War of the Roses proper command figure. So, uh, not War of the Roses, listen to me. <laughs> um, 100 Years War proper command figure. I've got Wars of the Roses command, it's 100 Years War I don't have. So, I'm going to make a start on those and then I'll come back and show you when I've uh, made some progress. Right, um, next stage, um, or this stage, the mounted command. I've uh, virtually got this finished. Uh, let me just show them around a bit. I'll take the riders off. I'm now in the touching up. Got a bit of shading to do, the uh, faces to be done. This one's got a closed helm, and I've obviously got to paint his jupon. That's going to be red. And what we've got here with the leader pig again, a bit of shading on the leather work at the bottom of his, that will just below his belt. Um, and the face has got to be done. The horses, uh, I think virtually finished. Or a bit of wash, a bit of black worm. Uh, what's it called? Brain's gone. What's it called? Dark tone, yeah. A bit of, a bit of dark tone on the silver because it's very silver on the... Um, the horse's sh uh, chamfron is it? Chamfron, yeah. Headpiece. And this one, uh, same for him. And I'm going to do gold um, on the headpieces, the top there. I'm going to do those in gold. And then uh, the bridle um, parts there, just to be touched. Oh, and uh, some gold, gold studs on the green horse trim. That's the blue. That's what it'll look like when it's completed. Bring it to nice horses, considering the plastic have come out pretty good. Um, yeah, so a bit of the strapping on the back over the rump of the horse is a bit thin. That could have done with it being a bit more pronounced for painting wise, but uh, but overall they're okay. So uh, I've got some white to put on the fence locks and say finish the, uh, the figures, just a few bits to finish. So I'm going to get that sorted. Get them stained, varnished, and uh, I'll possibly come back when I'm basing them. We'll see. Um, so it's only three-figure command, so it's not too much to do. Um, that's a standard bearer. It's going to have um, the Cross of St George flag. That's what I'm going to put on. Nice and simple. I haven't got a flag, so I can hand paint that without too much trouble. I'm hoping. So I'll make some progress and come back to you. Okay, there we go, all finished. Uh, painted up, shaded. I've got to put a matte varnish on, which I'm now going to do before I base them up. Um, we've got 
the other. So we've got two command, sort of mounted command figures. I didn't say this one, two mounted command figures. And then we've got the St. George flag. As I didn't have any flags, so I thought I had to paint one up. Uh, there you go, because I wanted to get this finished and based up today. So, so I'm now going to get the map varnished and then I should be basing them on uh, an MDF base. Pieces that I hold them to paint on, but there we go. Uh, so I'll get that in and uh, come back to you when I'm finished. Right here we go, it's all finished. Uh, the command group I've been working on it's finished, painted up, varnished. And I've just put some food tops on just to brighten up a bit on the base. Uh, yeah. Actually, nice and easy, wasn't difficult. Um, this is my first one for my new Hundred Years War Army. It's just a generic command figure. Um, I need three commands on mounted, one for each battle. Um, so I've got another two to do. And then I'm going to do some foot figures as well. Uh, this one I've given the uh, flag of St. George. Others will have to have uh, other flags, I think. I'll perhaps do the royal flag, I'll see, but uh, or uh, some kind of flag that belongs to somebody. But yeah, more finito. So I'll, uh, I'll put some stills at the end so you can see them. But there uh, we go, all done. Onwards and upwards, on with the Hundred Years War Army. Okay, so thanks a lot and uh, bye for now.